Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing the demo to a game called Hollow Body. And if you want your body to be hollow, the links and the details are, as always, down below in the description just for you, alright? This is going to be a tech noir third person survival horror game set in the crumbling remains of a long abandoned British city. And I can't wait to try it out. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments at the end though, alright? Here we go. This is the playable teaser to Hollow Body. Warning, severe weather conditions identified. <laughs> you think? What gave it away? Several of my atmospheric sensors are reading concerning levels That was a of... rhetorical question, Beeb. I recommend that we establish a safe landing zone with the utmost urgency. It's alright, we will. We're about three miles out from where Sasha was posted. You think you can hold on? There is a statistical probability that ignoring these warnings may result in an incident with fatal repercussion. Sorry, I am unable to process your request. The, the, the root function Beep? termination is protected and will require admi administrator report. Oh dear. <gasps> Shit. Oh boy. Alright, we're going down. What? Oh wow, alright. Whoa! Where is this meant to be? Peckham? <laughs> All right, well, we've landed. There you go. We just crashed our flying car. Huh. We didn't do all that. What happened to this place? I woke to the acrid smell of an electrical fire, rain pounding on the cracked windshield of my hover. I tried to call for help, but my radio couldn't catch a signal through the storm. Sasha was out there somewhere. If we were to stand any chance of getting out of here, I'd need an evac plan. I had to find a vantage point, some place high enough to get a signal through on my radio, and call for help. Alright. That is my mission, and I have chosen to accept it, because I want to get the hell out of here. This wasn't over. It's like a DeLorean, isn't it? Okay. Here we are then, we're in control. So you can play this with a mouse and keyboard, I'm choosing to play this with a controller, that's what was recommended. And you know, it's a third person survival horror, it just feels right to me. Oh, there we go, so left on the d-pad for the torch, on and off. Alright. So this is, uh, Mika? Micah? I've heard both, so I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but <laughs> one of those. Let's see then. Yeah, uh, I don't know where this is meant to be. I don't know if we're ever going to find out. It could be, it could be London. It could be Manchester or Birmingham or Bristol or Southampton. It could be one of the many cities that you'll find in the UK. Um, doesn't look like it's it's been through anything good though, does it? What have we got here? Okay, a medical repair spray has been left in the back of the ambulance. Yes, brilliant. Okay, so why for the inventory? Oh wow, look at that! Oh, I like the I like the area map. That's brilliant. Okay, so there's the map. We've got dogs. Oh, Sasha's letter. Uh, Mick, honey, you might want to be sitting down for this one. I took the job. I know how you feel. I care about how you feel, but this is too important to me. I'm losing sleep over this shit. I keep running it through my head over and over, and each time I feel like there's a piece missing. You said you didn't understand, but I don't need you to understand. I just need you to know that this isn't about you and me or some one-way trip. I'm not going there to die. I'm going because I need to know something. The team's all checked out. We've got a way in and an afternoon to find something concrete. We'll be in and out before you know it and this whole thing will be just another job. Please don't hate me. I love you. Right, and that's the only document that we have. I guess, yeah, Sasha, Sasha's in trouble. It's not just another job, evidently. Um, 
So we got the items. Oh, I've got a D-series revolver. Okay, some sort of radio, a lighter, and the repair spray. A personal repair spray used to treat open wounds. I like that it's voiced. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. Ah, there we go. Now we can run around. Good stuff. Uh, so it's not it's not tank controls as such. Um, kind of feels like that, but no, not not quite. <laughs> Somewhere in between. Uh, all right. Yeah, what on earth happened here? Was there another blitz or something? What, what what's all this? All right, it, it doesn't seem like we can examine that. But look at the destruction all around. Right, hang on, hang on. Yeah, what is this stuff? It looks like it's reaching for something. Huh. I assume we can't go into any of these houses, and I assume no one's actually living here anymore. This is a long abandoned city, right? What is this? I gotta say, straight away, I'm intrigued. I wanna know more about this. I like the way it looks, too. An old industrial mech sits lifeless, collapsed into a residential building. I can see that. Alright. So, yeah. Ah, uh, where are we going? Are we going that way? This way? Let's go up the main street here. Let's see what we can find. Oh, make sure you're not running too fast. 20 miles an hour. <laughs> ah, it looks like this is a bit of a blockage. Hmm. Well, maybe not. Hang on. Looks like the street was intentionally closed off. But what were they trying to keep out? Never mind. Need to get a signal through to tax. I think I saw an apartment block nearby. That should have roof access. Okay. Alright. Uh, I think we saw that in the opening cutscene, actually. Yeah, my guess is they're trying to keep the stuff that's reaching up into the sky out. Or, or maybe it was the mech that went rogue, I'm not sure. But something caused all this destruction. Alright, let's try... let's try this sort of alley here. Yeah, okay. Doesn't seem like we've got any camera control. Right thumbstick doesn't seem to tilt the camera in anyway. Um, Alright. Hey, I'm sure you're just a little girl at heart, right? You want to go on the swing? No? I want to go on the swing. <laughs> physics! You gotta love physics. What about this? Oh, it spins! Okay, nice touch. Uh, so this is actually brought to us by, I believe the developers called Headwear Games. They actually made a game that I played on the channel about two years ago called Chasing Static. And I think for the most part it is just one guy working on this. Really, really impressive. Chasing Static was good, I thought. It was good, but I think it did miss the mark. I can't remember exactly why, but... Yeah, I, I do remember being a little bit dissatisfied by the end of it, unfortunately. Right, we're just running around this car park here. Uh, looks like there's a gate. The gate to the parking lot is shut tight. Right. I need to find a way into those apartments anyway. The apartments to my right? Yeah, okay. Hang on, we've got a we've got a body here. Oh, look at this. Harry Tyndale, deceased. Cause blood loss. He worked in the civil services. Right, what's this? Oh, hang on, hang on. I think that might be ammo, right? Revolver ammo. Right, yes. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Equip. Okay, good stuff. There you go. Get that reloaded. Yeah, who knows what we're going to be running into, but it might be handy to keep this out. Right. Looks like there's an open window there. Can I jump on? Right, hang on. I don't think I can climb up onto the scaffolding, can I? Oh, but I can move this dumpster. Wow, okay, does that... Does that have wheels, or are you just that strong? <laughs> Alright, up we go. And again. <laughs> Animation looks a little bit goofy, but hey, gets the job done. Right, we're slipping in through the window. I like it. Okay. Time to find a way up to the roof. I guess so. 
Alright, let's see. Various old boxes and empty paint cans. Just junk. Hmm. Who the hell tipped over the bath? Yeah, same kind of thing it looks like. What we got here? Oh, ah, it's locked up. It's a storage box locked with a large padlock. Maybe I can find a way to pry it open. So, immediately I want to pry it open. I'm not going to find the key. Alright, well I guess we're looking for um, bolt cutters, a crowbar, something like that. I don't know, a hammer to smash it? Alright. Let's see then. Let's just take this door by door, room by room. Hmm. The lock is blocked with some kind of expanding foam. Oh yeah. Hmm. I suppose I can just shoot that off, can I? Uh, right. Can we? There's no power running to the elevator. I guess it's the stairs for me. Okay, so there's nothing in the foreground here. Yeah, okay, it, it does in many ways feel like an old school survival horror. But also kind of futuristic. But also kind of retro at the same time, you know? <laughs> oh, this door is shut with an electronic lock. Okay. What about this one over here? Uh-huh, same kind of thing. Can we... Okay, yeah, there we go. That's better. I don't see any expanding foam here, but the gate is unfortunately locked tight. Up again? Up again, okay. I suppose we want to get as high as possible, don't we? Yeah, that's not going to work. I guess we need, I don't know, a passcode or a keycard or something to get through these locks? Oh, we're not going up anymore, are we? Uh-huh. Okay. There you go. Two, two. This one looks unlocked. And it is. We're going in. Alright. Okay, let's see. It looks just as ruined in here as it did before. This thing hasn't been cleaned for years. Well, I don't think anyone's actually been here for years. That's probably why. A filthy old bathtub. A pool of stale water sits at the bottom of the tub. Yeah. What about the toilet? Any items in there? We can't look. Ah, oh, we can't look. What a shame. Oh, what was that? A dusty old video phone. This model is made by Tektroni. Okay. Yeah. It's futuristic but also retro at the same time. It's a good blend. Tech noir, I suppose, right? Okay, we've got like a little kitchen or kitchenette around here. Gross. I'm not touching any of this. Okay, so I'm not going to find a tool in here, a key. Alright, lovely bedroom. The sheets are stained. Everything's stained here. It's trash. Yes, it is. <laughs> so I guess there's some voice lines. Full of old rotten garments. Nothing too important then. Hmm. Okay. Well, we explored, I suppose. Doesn't seem like there's anything to really find here, right? Not that I can see. Alright, let's get out of here. Maybe I can try another one. Okay. Actually, just out of interest, what's it? Oh, it, it, it shows the map in here as well. I like this, yeah! It's making a good first impression. Right, let's, let's stay on this side to begin with, right? Okay, that's shut. That's locked, yeah, okay. And these are actually boarded up for some reason. What about the shutter? I don't suppose I can get that up, can I? Nah. Okay, nope. Right, okay. Well, uh, this was placed like an H. Let's go from the, the left side to the right side via the middle. Past a couple more blocked doors. Let's go this way. Oh, what was that? Hmm. I might not be alone. But that might not be Sasha. <laughs> Oh. Okay, 214. 214, like the other one, is unlocked. We're going in. Alright. Hold on, hold on. What's in here? Anything? I'd kill for a shower right now, but this one smells like death. What about the sink? There's no water. Not that I trust the water anyway. <laughs> no, at this point, probably not. Probably best you don't touch anything. Ooh. Wow, okay, what the hell happened to you? Oh, God. 
This was Catherine Dowell, born in 2018, I guess, right? So, acute dehydration killed her. Hmm. There might be more to this not trusting the water thing. Boxes? Useless junk. Okay. Are we going to find more than useless junk? Hmm. Nothing of any use in here. Okay. A lovely bed. Nothing in the corner? No. What is this? Can I have a look at this? No? That looks interesting. I don't know if that's like a radio, an air conditioner, or what. Hmm. Yeah, alright. Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, there's a key down there. I can see right through to the ground floor. Yeah. There's something on the table. I can't reach it with my bare hands. So we need to find something? Okay, we need to find something. We need to we need to hook that up. You're not a fisher by any chance, are you? <laughs> not going to find a rod around here. That'd be nice. Right, okay. Well, let's go out. Let's maybe try somewhere else and, and come back a little bit later. Yeah? Alright. What about this one? It's locked, but the door's actually ajar. It's been, like, busted open. Alright. Again, as is tradition. Gotta check the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Oh, there might be something on this table, though. Another document added. Okay, so that's gonna be... here. Oh, it's a newspaper. Okay, from November 16th. Social enrichment charity Sherwood announces monumental investment to revamp Barnston's... Oh, Barnston? That's where this is? Okay. Infrastructure and Economy. Barnston, November 19th, 2063. In a groundbreaking move set to redefine Barnston's landscape, Sherwood, a philanthropic organization, has declared plans for a transformative investment aimed at revitalizing the city's infrastructure. The initiative aims to usher in a new era of prosperity, promising job opportunities and modern transit systems in a city marred by economic struggles and social challenges. In a statement released by Sherwood's CEO, Sarah Reynolds, the organization expressed its commitment to fostering positive change. We believe that every community deserves the chance to thrive. Our investment in Barnston aims to create a sustainable and vibrant future for its residents by addressing the systemic issues that have held the city back for far too long. The announcement sparked enthusiasm among residents, businesses, and officials. Mayor Robert Thompson hailed it as a turning point, welcoming Sherwood's commitment and the transformative potential. Sherwood's plans not only underscores their dedication to social welfare, but also highlights the potential for private entities to play a pivotal role in uplifting communities facing socio-economic challenges. As plans unfold, anticipation mounts for the monumental changes that lie ahead for the city of Barnston. For inquiries or statements, blah blah blah, okay... That's it. Just that one page. Alright. There you go. A little bit of background. Barnston. Is that a real place? I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. It sounds like it should be a real place, though. <laughs> Alright. In here? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Another body? Oh. What the hell happens here? Was that some sort of, like, VR headset? Uh, M. Thurston? Cardiovascular failure. That's how he died. Oh, he's got something. Hold on. It's a key card. Ah. Take the room key? Absolutely. There you go. Right. Good stuff. Anything else around here? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. So, let's go out to the balcony. Oh. Okay. Just in case. We go. So we can freely pull it out with the D-pad. Good stuff. Hmm. Let's take a quick look at that item. So, room key. Two, two point three, two point three. I think we've probably passed that, to be honest. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there's another one down here that's unlocked. That one's barricaded. Right, let's have a look at this, and then we'll go back and see if we can get into 2-3. Oh. Another, I was going to say health spray, repair spray. 
Yep, okay. Um, yeah, thankfully, most of the items do stick out. Oh. Alright. Contact. That was the radio thing, wasn't it? Yeah, nobody likes washing up, but this is just disgusting. Although, where would you wash up? There's no sink. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that explains things. Alright. Any dead bodies in here? No. Just a bed that, yeah, you couldn't pay me to sleep in. What about the drawers in here? Old rotten garments. No. Okay, fine. Right, when I'm here, I'm getting I'm getting a signal. Can I Right, hold on. Because it is here, isn't it? There it is. Is it working? Hey, babe, are you sure you're alright? You've not touched your dinner. I just... Uh, I'm not hungry. Did you guys eat after work, or...? I'm not hungry. Come on, you didn't take your lunch with you today. You have to eat something. Take a walk. What? Take a walk. Give me some fucking space. I... Honey, you're scaring me. Please, just tell me what's wrong. We can work this out. I'm fine. I'm not hungry. I need some space. Maybe this construction job wasn't such a great idea. Take a walk. It's raining out. Where can I go? I... I said, take a walk. This is our home. I live here. Get the fuck out of my house. What was that? What did I just intercept? Was that like a, a, a memory of this place exactly? What is this radio? Hold on. My trusty Kotak. It's old tech, but near impossible for someone to monitor the signal. Right. Feels like that was happening in the past, you know? Strange. But again, intriguing. I'm interested. Okay. Right, well, there you go. That was a little bit different. Let's see if we can go back to 2-3. Probably somewhere on this side, I'd imagine. So, let's see. That's... that's 2-2. Two, two. So, is it gonna be... one of these? 2-3. Yep. Hold on, I've got just the item for you. There it is. It's unlocked! Okay, we're going in. I gotta say, these apartments really remind me of Silent Hill 2. Oh wow, look at this hole. The floor has collapsed, leading to the room below. Do I jump down? Not quite yet. It won't budge. Now you can do it. <laughs> Let's jump down. Oh, wow. Yeah, don't jump right on that. That might just blow up. Can we take a look at that? A missile lies dormant, buried under the rubble. Is it... Oh, okay, that's not the missile? I thought the missile was calling me. Right, hold on. There's a phone over here. That's still working. Uh, is anyone there? It was ringing. I'm sorry, who is this? We weren't expecting visitors. We? How are you... How is this line still active? Shut up. Refuse to die. Why are you talking like that? I am fluent in other short languages. Would you like me to? I get it. You're one of those old service bots, right? You used to take calls when people weren't home. I, 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 I'm sorry. I am not familiar with the term. Service bot. 7,000 languages and you don't know what that means? Right. Okay. Try this. I'm looking for someone. A girl. Her name's Sasha. Please tell me 
Have you seen her? I didn't see you like Bernice. Yeah, this is a waste of my time. I'm hanging up. Watch out for the strays. They have and been in the prep in weeks. Oh. Creepy fucking robot. <laughs> Oh? Oh, this is where we save? Oh, right, so we use the phones to save. Or at least the phones that are working. Let's see. Yeah, seems like it. Okay, I quite like that idea, to be honest. Yeah, why not? Uh, so, let's see. Alright, anything in there? The sink is filthy. Oh, I think there's actually something in the toilet this time. No, oh. The radiator? Oh. Okay, it appears to be damaged, barely hanging to the wall. Remove the radiator? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, is something back there? The wall is water damaged, exposing the plasterboard behind. Oh yeah, okay. I may be able to break through with the right tool. Ah. Okay, well I I don't know if... if well, is this the right tool? <laughs> Alright, I thought I was stuck there to be honest. Okay, we're looking for a tool. And the tool might have to be in here. Yeah, the door's jammed. It won't open. Right, okay. It's got to be somewhere in here, then. Right, let's see. So this is going to be the kitchen area. Any tools? I see a lot of bottles and cans and paper and... Yeah, just rubbish, really. Okay. It's, oh. What is going on here? Right. That was odd. Oh. Oh! Is there a... I think there's a kid under that sheet that asphyxiated. Dear. Okay, there's a document as well, just off screen. Hold on. So... If I was a bazillionaire, I'd buy mummy a new daddy and get pizza every day. I agree. That's... That, life goals. <laughs> oh man, okay, that's... that's rough. Um, so, hold on. In here, potentially? Am I going to sleep in this one? No, of course not. <laughs> I don't know why I even looked. Alright, what's this? Oh, hold on. A hammer. A claw hammer. Yeah, okay. It's embedded into the family portrait. Yep, I'm going to take that. Surely that's what we need to, uh, to get through that plasterboard. Okay, right, so let's go around. Back to the radiator. There we are. So, item. There it is. Use. Nice. It all feels very intuitive. I do like the way the game controls. Right, this is our way out. So, is this an adjoining apartment or is this the corridor? Right, this is the corridor, isn't it? I suppose this is the one that was like, it was locked up and it had the expanding foam on it, right? Let's see. Okay, so it looks like a bit of a dead end. What was that? Okay, there's another body over there. What happened to you? Sean Bewley. Right. Myocardial infarction. That's what got you. Oh, what's this? A portable cell battery sits wired into a broken diagnostics device. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Right, that could come in handy, I suppose. Right, let's see. One, five. So, I can't help but think that, you know, I've got a weapon. I've found two lots of ammo. Maybe I could have found more, but I haven't seen a single enemy yet. Are these bodies going to rise from the grave? The game's been a bit of a slow burn so far, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Okay, that's all, that's all blocked up. Just some old trash. What is that I'm hearing? Anything here? No? A small child's bed. Various toys and posters decorate the room. Either they left in a hurry, or... They didn't. Hmm. In here? Okay. Look, more ammo, right? More ammo. Why? Yeah, something's gonna happen. I'm gonna- I'm gonna trigger something. Some sort of dead awakening, I guess. Yeah, 
I don't know where that's coming from. I don't think it's this apartment, but I think it's somewhere nearby. So, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe it's coming from there? Hmm, we'll save that for later. Alright. The gate is locked tight. Okay, well we're not getting out that way, are we? We're going to have to go this way, I think, towards the noise. Somewhere to the left? Oh wow, what the... Right. Oh, someone's trying to break out. Okay. Looks like a 2x4 with some nails in. Yeah, an old wooden bat pierced with rusty nails is embedded in the door. Take the club? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. But this is locked. Good. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Holy shit. Okay. I'm going in. It might be shooting time. Hello? Alright, hold on. <laughs> Let me get that repair spray just in case. Alright. Hmm. Anyone in here? No? In the bedroom? Oh. What is that? Oh. Is it a walking corpse? Is it something else? It's oh gee, well. Hold on, hold on. Get your gun back out. Hold on, I can't seem to get my gun out. <laughs> and it's empty again? Since when? I guess like the game reset that. Bloody hell. Whew, okay. Is it dead? I think it's dead. I can't examine it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can pirouette on it, though. Okay. Alright, so yeah, we can we can stomp on enemies, I guess, when they're down. Was it eating her? Damn. Okay, this was Helen Bridges. Uh, deceased cause unknown. Oh, there's a safe as well. Hold on. Ah. Hmm. Graduation. Graduation, okay. <laughs> I don't think it's that far into the future, is it? It's 20... 2060, 2070, something like that, right? Okay, well... A graduation. Let's see. The little kid's bed down there. What's this? Ah, yeah. A young woman celebrating her birthday. It looks like she has a kid. Can't be more than three or four years old. Right. Okay, we got some more over here as well. Ah! Three girls at a university graduation. Hmm. One of them appears to be heavily pregnant. Interesting, interesting. And you said, what, like four years a old, young maybe? Woman celebrating her birthday. Three or four? It looks like she has a kid. Can't be more than three or four years old. So, she was. 26, 27, that kind of age when she graduated. Wait, well, it says the date of birth over here, doesn't it? 2025. Okay. So are we are we saying are we saying 20 2051 maybe? Hold on. <laughs> I'm using the D-pad which is turning that on. No. Okay, 2052. Hey, it wasn't far off. Nice. A large metal key hides in the back of the safe. Yeah, take the old key, absolutely. There you go. Right. So, let's take a look at this old key. What's this for? Alright. It's around here somewhere. Okay, yeah, this long key. It's got a tag on it. Hmm. Does it say spare? It... Hang on. A long iron key found in the safe of room 13. The tag reads spare gate. Spare gate. Is that going to be for somewhere here? What 
What the hell is that that I'm hearing? That breathing, that wheezing. Right. Okay, so that was that was a dead end, right? We we can't open the shutter. No, no way to open it. Now I'm hearing wheezing. Hmm. Let's see. What's up this end? Is this okay? One nine. One nine is actually going to work. It's unlocked. Right. Okay. So now there's enemies. Now, now there's an actual threat. That's not flickering in Morse code or anything, is it? Seems like we can't get to the balcony. Anything over here? Uh-huh. Old plates, yep. Something good? Just more rubbish. There was a bed here once. It's gone now. <laughs> Okay, doesn't seem like there was much in there, to be honest. Hmm. I do wonder if I maybe have to use the, uh, this- Whoa! Okay, let's just run. <laughs> this does feel a little bit like Silent Hill. Maybe you're not meant to kill all the monsters, right? Uh, yeah. Maybe this is gonna open this- Oh shit. This door here? Hold on. <laughs> Wait right there, the long key, yes. There you go. It's unlocked. Use it, quickly. Right. Ah, oh, really? There? Really. There you go. That was the demo to Hollowbody, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video, alright? Did you enjoy this one? I did. I, I did. I think there's a lot to like about this. I, I like the way it looks. I like the way it sounds. Uh, the combat, although I only did it once, felt pretty good. Uh, the controls seem intuitive with a controller. I like the story and the settings intriguing. I just want to explore more of this environment and find out what happened here, you know? I still don't really know. I mean, there's a few clues here and there. I can come up with maybe a few theories, but I just want to know more. And, you know, I was disappointed that the demo ended right there because I wanted to play on more. I wanted more of it. I just want more. So that's... That's ideal, right? The demo did exactly what it's meant to do. Yeah. I think this is one I'm going to keep an eye on. Thanks for watching. See you next time. What is this? i got to say, straight away, I'm intrigued. I want to know more about this. Make sure you're not running too fast. 20 miles an hour. What about the toilet? Any items in there? We can't look. Ah, oh, we can't look. Yeah, nobody likes washing up, but this is just disgusting. Although, where would you wash up? There's no sink. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that explains things. A missile lies dormant, buried under the rubble. Is it... Oh, okay, that's not the missile? I thought the missile was calling me. Right, hold on. Chat for the strays. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think there's actually something in the toilet this time. No, oh, the radiator? Oh. If I was a bazillionaire, I'd buy mummy a new daddy and get pizza every day. I agree. That's that, life goals. <laughs> but this is locked. Good. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? I think it's dead. I can't examine it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can pirouette on it, though. I do wonder if I maybe have to use the, uh, this. Whoa! Okay, let's just run. <laughs>